class absolute five here so today we're going to talk about what the health what the health is talking about a documentary where it's this gentleman who goes on this huge adventure to find out what really goes on in the meat and dairy industry and also to figure out what's going on with with the pharmaceutical industry and doctors and it's so funny in the beginning for me i found it hilarious i just say this one thing real quick it was funny for me because this doctor talks about oh how cancer is so hard to get rid of we've been doing this for years and that you know it's not linked to anything in particular and that it's hard for us to you know figure out a cure for this thing but then the guy asked him a question said so then can you tell me what is a good diet to eat and the doctor just says i can't i can't tell you that and i'm like what <laughs> it's like wait a minute you're in charge of being healthy be making sure everyone's healthy that's part of your some sort of code probably i would assume because there is a code that doctors have to follow and you're not going to tell us about what is healthy what isn't healthy that doesn't make any sense i'm like um we need to know what what we're supposed to eat to be healthy but they can never tell us by by it opening off like this i the whole movie started off that way i was like i was immediately drawn into the movie and i enjoyed I enjoyed the whole thing. Like I enjoyed the journey, how he had used to eat meat, and how a lot of myths that he would debunk, how a lot of myths he would debunk, would you know, would be would be false. Specifically, you know, milk builds a body good, which it doesn't, and how it is wrong for for the meat industry to actually do what it's doing. For the meat industry to do what it's doing, it is disgusting the way how people are, not people, excuse me, not people, sorry. I meant the corporations, their habit, their methods, and what they do to get money. And if you've never seen a slaughterhouse video, you might want to check one up on YouTube, but I, gra I, I promise you, if you do see that, have strength and have courage because it's it's hard it's really rough funny thing was i remember seeing this video probably about two months in of my vegan diet and i was i was a hundred percent for it hundred percent hundred percent for this video to go off and for the person to do all of the research to do everything correctly and he did all his research and i was like wow like it really gets you thinking like why are they doing this why are they hiding all this information why are they doing all these things and i understand what the answer is is control let's be honest here a selective few people are controlling the entire and I say the entire, I mean like the entire, I wouldn't say the world, but I would say specifically the United States, in specifically the United States because of how our system, it revolves around, you know, well, well balanced breakfast of, you know, eggs, bacon, and cheese. You see how you notice they always mention those things, but they never actually tell you, oh, have a, have a nice fruit smoothie in the morning. That you should all try. It's amazing. Have a fruit smoothie in the morning and I promise you, you'll feel surprisingly good. Very good, if anything. And what the health, what the health covers a whole bunch of very, very like interesting topics that I would not think to even consider at the time when I started doing this juice feast. What I loved about the movie is how how he really gets personal and this one scene was specifically with the doctor he gets into i'm not gonna say what i'm gonna let you guys watch that that scene was for me incredible i enjoyed it 100 percent. it was it was amazing and that in the end in the end most doctors well i'm not gonna spoil the end they're not allowed to tell you what to eat but they are allowed to tell you what not to eat so through that 
idea you have to figure out what is supposed to be healthy and if you eat a good plant-based diet you know you should be fine remember plant-based doesn't have to be just you know oh you're eating the grass <laughs> you know you're not eating grass the whole time no you know you can still have you know if you're if you're spanish or whatever culture you're from you can have rice, beans, you can have whatever, uh, plantains, you can have all kinds of various ways to eat healthy in such a unique way that it really opens up your world. That's the thing, I what I love about these types of movies. They really open up your horizon and your vision, your perspective on life. And then you become more compassionate about people. And for me, that's what I've learned that like when I notice I see somebody who's quote unquote crazy, they're not crazy. They Their body has been severely damaged for a very long time and they don't know, they don't know like what kind of damage they've done to themselves. And it is very important to, to understand what kind of damage they've done to themselves and then you put yourself in their position because when you think about it we've all been in this position where we've all eaten meat at this point mainly in america anyway i'm not sure what other countries may not be eating meat but specifically in america we always normally eat you know eggs meats cheese all types of stuff and that in the end <coughs> in the end it is hard to change that's the hardest thing to do is to actually change from doing what you're doing to actually eating healthy that's one of the hardest things to do so so it is necessary to it is necessary to always consider other people's view view, view perspective when it comes to this types of lifestyle so if you have let's say you're already you know eating a plant-based diet you're vegan or whatever and you want to spread the word about it you can't force it on people you have to wait for the right moment when i say wait when i say wait i don't mean wait like forever no that could never happen if anything just be the shining example if anything that's a better way to show people hey look look how i look look how i feel wouldn't you want this but then understand you don't say that you show them this and and people will always tell you oh you could do it but I can't do it but in reality everyone can do it it's just you need the right motivation the right perspective the right person to come into your life to actually help motivate you to help inspire you to actually become a better person because I think that's what everyone wants to aspire to be the best version of themselves they want to be a very important person to everyone but in reality you just want to actually just help yourself to actually be a better person in the end so I know I am doing my best as a teacher to show my students hey look this is what you all should try at least try it not just force it down your throats no I am just showing you what is cap what you're capable of actually doing if you put your mind to it all right so that's my thoughts on what the health what the health is like I said it's a great movie really dives deep into the whole meat and dairy industry the shady tactics the shady nonsense that they go through and that you should all give it a watch it's an it's a nice movie nice documentary you should definitely watch it and i'll probably leave the link in the description for it down below and be sure to like share and subscribe to this channel uh smash that bell button for more content and i always encourage you guys to ask questions about these types of things i'm not an expert i'm still like a beginner learning about this lifestyle if anything there's a special event i'll be attending very soon i think it's in october i think some vegan thing i forget but i'll be sure to talk about that too okay so uh remember math is infinite because there are infinitely many possibilities take care